Some silver! Eivor! Is this where Justice hides when she's tired? Hides? Splood, no. This is a wake, my friend. A celebration to ease the quill on her way to eternal damnation. You heard. Hilda's were not the only eyes in Winchester. My spies tell me stories of an avenging angel striking down the unworthy. I have been called worse. Be thou hail, Eldorbana. That's life destroyer in our dialect. I said easy with my kinsbane. Old honey waves alive in my horn, and my eyes on the door, expecting my death, yet unafraid. <laughs> You're quite safe with me, Dane. For now. If the mead is fresh and the air is cool. You may often find a friend, even amongst your enemies. I could use someone like you in my settlement. With ink on his fingers and a sense of honor. I would love to devote myself to the study and practice of the law. There is a weariness in war I wish I could shake off. Impossible. Even in death our battles will rage on. It's the way of things. I must thank you before the ale dulls me. By cutting the order down to size, you have given England a hope of unity. It must be a sour apple to swallow, knowing that you are the last of Winchester's enemies. Are you sure the Sikhs is dead? The Bishop is dead, that's certain. And if the Bishop was the Sikhs, the Sikhs is dead. A transitive property of mortality, you see. I don't believe it. Too much theater in Winchester. Overwrought players and wailing women. Well, you could pay your respects and see for yourself. The funeral is today. If he rots, I will leave with my silver. But if he lives, there's work to be done. Watch your step, Eivor. He'll be a hefty corpse in death. Alive, he'd be much bigger. Whether you find or make it, meet me at the Witten with your report. There's drinking to If the bishop is worm meal, then here should be the proof. Lord grant my brother Aelfa eternal bliss, where joy endures for all those beloved of God. Only his face was burned. That seems like a strange accident. And this corpse's build is slight, frail. Goodwin said Aelferth was a brute. Did you know Bishop Aylforth? Barely. But can you still smell the burned flesh? It's rife across the whole graveyard. Such a grisly fate. Did you know Aylforth? By reputation, I did. He was no friend of Alfred's. I once heard them quarreling at a Witten. A sad day for Winchester. Maybe now God will reward us with a man who truly believes in him. Did you know Bishop Ilfrith? No, but I plan to write an epic poem of his grisly demise. Oh, poor Ailfirth, scorched of face. All your woeful companions, bold, bionid, weeping. Weeping as you are... Uh... Sleeping? Oh, yeah, perfect, yes. Are you the Bishop's family? God, no. Just here to make sure that impious bastard is actually dead. 
He bedded my wife, the randy bastard. I am sorry for your loss. Makes no odds to me. But I'm sorry for Harriet. She cared so much for him. More than a sister should. A stranger comes to Wimber. You do not mourn like they do. Wimber is always here. Helping the sleeping. Singing to them. So they are not frightened before they meet God. The sleeping? You mean the dead? Wimber helps the monks. Dig, dig, dig. You dig the graves. Did you bury Elferth? Have you seen Layoff? My poor friend. Poor, poor Layoff. Layoff. What happened to him? Sleeping. Sleeping like my dog when I hooked him too hard. Someone hurt Layoff? Yes. Yes. And while he slept, they stole his face. Not just stolen, but burnt. Do you not see? I am in prayer. May we speak of your brother's death? Have you no shame? Leave me. We both know your brother's fate was a cloak of lies. He used your God's words for his own ends. Who are you to judge a man of faith? You, a Dane who believes in giants and wolves that eat the sun? Be gone. Get away from me, demon! Guards, protect me! Spread out! We this! Come brothers! Let's end it! Why will you not leave me alone? Enough of this, Cat and Mouse. Where is your brother, the one that called the Sikhs? He is a ghost now. But he will make himself flesh once more of the Witten. And Alfred will be king no more. He means to kill Alfred? Regicide? No. The king will step aside and Aelfeth will lead us all, risen and resplendent as the Lord. You are a damned fool. about this land, my friend.
How sweet is the shepherd's pipe when he calls his lambs to slaughter. I was born to Christians in the northern wilds. My mother would cradle me beneath the stars and whisper dove-like, God watches over you. Then your people came. And God fixed his stout eye as they slit her throat for a copper ring. No stars threw down their spears as barbarians smeared her blood through fields of broken wheat. God watched all. And I hated him. It may be Alfred's God was testing you. A trial you failed. Alfred's God is weak. Yet he would chain us all in his service, from our first breath to our death rattle. My order wishes to break these mind-forged manacles. I am the wolf in Lamb's Wool. He takes on the role of a god himself. A worthy path to walk. A wolf is but a walking feast for ravens. One more gift for you, Dane. A deadly truth, if you can find it. With my death, the Order will not die. It will only transform into something far worse for all of us. Firth will not cheat Loki's dread daughter twice. I owe you my life. An irony not lost on me, Alfred. My king, we'll go by back streets to the old minster. Eivor may find us there when all has settled. Dane, my brother served God. He was not a Christian. He abhorred your God. But why strike him down? Have you no compassion for good men? We both have more questions than answers. But if you know this key, perhaps we can help one another. Where is its home? You treated me with kindness, but this damned order 
Their machinations killed my brother, so the rest may rot. Take this key to the ruins beneath the bishop's house. You may find answers there. Sunan, guide me. If Aelfer's sister spoke true, I will find answers in the ruins. This must be it. The door to Aelfer's secrets. I will send this to Hytham. He may make some sense of it. The other side must be barred.
Everything they did was to undermine Elfred. She lied to me. There is nothing here of the Order. I should see Elfred for my reward. Come forth, Eivor. Here is far enough. When wrongdoers came to devour my flesh, these enemies stumbled and fell. Have the laws of hospitality been thrown out, Alfred? I did exactly as we agreed. That you did. But do not mistake necessity for friendship. You are a man of your word, a man of God. Indeed. By his example, I live my life. Goodwin? Here is the only silver fit for one of your dragon boats. A reminder of Christ's sacrifice and our charity. This too I offer you. Live here among us in peace as a Christian, or die a pagan in a blood-soaked field. All you have to lose is life everlasting. And if I choose neither? He offers you hope, Eivor. A life of purpose, above and beyond this one. You'd be a fool to refuse. Your reign will end, King of the West Saxons. Raven wings will beat until your throne crumbles to dust. You were wrong, Goodwin. This one is beyond saving. your chance, damn you! I did not want it. Damn you, Alfred!
I will return to Hytham and Ranvi. They will want to know what happened here. Yora and Winchester has been wiped out, but we are no longer welcome there. My contact was none other than King Alfred himself. The Order wanted him dead, so he fought back. Alfred? The line between friend and enemy is a porous one. 